Stop 1, Introduction. Welcome to the audio tour for Focusing the Flame, Ceramics by Jan Kolwitz. The text for this audio tour was selected from the catalog essay by Andrew L. Maskey and is read by the artist himself. Andrew L. Maskey specializes in Asian ceramics and ceramics inspired by Asian traditions. He is Assistant Professor of Art History at the University of Kentucky in Lexington. Professor Maskey received a doctorate in Japanese art history from Oxford University. In 2007, he was a Fulbright Research Fellow in the Beijing University Department of Fine Arts, where he studied contemporary Chinese art ceramics. Thank you and enjoy. Stop 2. Some of Colvitt's ceramics are notable for their subtlety, others are striking for their dramatic contrasts. Pieces like KJ4, KJ7 and KJ12 display back scorching on the lower area that is rarely found even on unglazed wood-fired ceramics in Japan. This manifestation links Colvitt's work with a Japanese ceramic type known as Iga, a bold yet enigmatic ware that reached its height of popularity in the early 17th century. Iga shares certain characteristics with neighboring Shigaraki, another ceramic type that Colvitz credits with influencing his work, including rough, off-white clay and typically heavy deposits of incidental glaze. Stop 3. It is the fall of ash that creates a speckling, sheen, glazing, or flow that decorates unglazed wood-fired pieces, such as KJ-17, KJ-22, or KJ-24. Wood ash contains minerals such as silica that do not burn up in the firing, but are blown through the kiln by the kiln draft, falling randomly according to their weight, the strength of the kiln draft, the temperature, and any obstructions that may impede its course. Generally, the surfaces of items that face the source of the kiln draft will receive a heavier deposit of coating of ash glaze. Thus, most unglazed wood-fired pieces have a clear front and back. Stop 4. Other surface effects such as flashing, are caused by variations in the kiln atmosphere at certain points in the firing process, as well as the location of a specific piece in relation to other pieces. As we can see in KJ19, Kolwitz has achieved some arresting contrasts in cool and warm colors as a result of this manifestation. Stop 5. Colvitt's principal teacher in Japan was the Ichizen potter Nakamura Yutaka. Traditional Ichizen ware is known for the small jars called Ohaguro Tsubo. In pieces KJ20 and KJ21, Colvitz has succeeded in recreating these jars in an eerily accurate manner, to the point that one imagines that they are just how antique Eichizen jars must have looked when they were new. Such an ability to capture the spirit of wares of 500 years ago is rare, even among the best Japanese potters. Stop 6. An apparent anomaly in Kolwitz's work is his black tea bowls, including KJ23. These bowls are among his rare ceramics that feature applied glaze. Yet even these bowls reflect the way in which firing impacts a work's appearance. These bowls are of a variety known as pulled out black or hikidashiguro, created in the late 16th century at the Mino kilns of central Japan. Potters in Mino discovered that if they glazed bowls with a brown iron glaze and pulled them out in the midst of the firing and quenched them in water, the glaze would turn out not brown but jet black. Kolwitz performs this operation using long tongs to pull a glowing tea bowl out of the flaming kiln 
giving the impression of a serene form of action art.